Visions of Mana. The snowfall is already starting to melt. What a relief. The spirits are probably celebrating the naming of a new arm. They're welcoming us. Oh, great. Wonderful. Can we get out? Remind me who it was who said they wanted to make a bunch of snowmen earlier? I never dwell on the past. Focus on the now, Val. And speaking of the here and now, we should discuss our plan. If we follow the falls, we'll reach a plateau. Rata Harbor is just beyond that. Harbor? As in Ocean Harbor? I always wanted a chance to see the sea. The ships there will take us to Ilistana, capital of the deep. I hear Ilistana is the largest city in the world. That's where we'll meet up with the Alm of Water. Whoever they are, I hope they're ready for us. <laughs> Remember. We're not just picking up an alm in Ilistana. It's also where we will request the rites of initiation. It's still a long way to get to the Tree of Mana. But the Queen of Ilistana is attentive to the needs of the alms. She will pray for our safe passage. Oh, wow! Then we barely even set foot out the door, it seems. Something wrong? Look! That thing is frozen solid. Yep, nothing more than a block of ice. Wait! It's melting, see? Oh! Are you okay? You were frozen solid a second ago. Did that plant thing drop something back there? Yeah. It looks like a diary, maybe? Well, are you gonna read it or what? Karina, I can't just read that cactus's private thoughts, right? 
Or can I? I think you can. As long as you give it back to him the next time we cross paths. Come on! the power of the elements. Time to try out the... Powers of the Luna Globe. to get to work. The sky sure is bright. I love this kind of weather. Especially after leaving the blizzard. Anything will be better. Can you feel more energetic too, though? I can even what spirit can do. It sounds like Ramco agrees with you. <laughs> Bears will love this. <gasps> nice, got it. <gasps> the dud bears will love this. Don't mind if I do. Thanks. 
Much advised. Understood. When push comes to shove, I don't hold back. I'll carry on from here. This is kind of exciting. Nice. Yes. Watch your back here. Slow down. Taking this. This is kind of exciting. Is this? Just me, or is this area teeming with monsters? After we defeat the first wave of attacks, we should be ready for more enemies rushing in from the shadows. These monsters fight in packs. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I can tell there are more out there. Hina, stand back, okay? You don't want to get caught up in the fray. Leave the healing to me, but don't do anything too reckless. We're in our way. That's the last of them. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now that Marley's here, I can take a break. A soul guard has to look after the alms, but it helps that you can handle yourselves in a fight. Thanks for the assistance. Way to make me feel guilty for slacking off, Val. Okay, fine, I'll keep fighting. Just stop smiling at me like that. We're nearly to Fallow's step. Come on. Those monsters just kept coming, huh? There are bound to be more encounters like that in the future. Be prepared for an attack at any moment. That's the best way to stay sharp. Doesn't hurt to have a good stock of items and gear either.
feel that warmth. Like waking up from hibernation after a long, cold winter. Beyond the steppe is Rata Harbor, but something's off. Milpa is away, it seems. Who is Milpa? A friend of yours? He owns this ranch. He taught me swordsmanship when I first arrived in Elistana. He's quite gifted with a blade. And I had hoped to ask him for some assistance before we cross the steppe. I didn't know you used to live in Elistana, Morley. Well, with Etern gone, I was left alone. Thankfully, I was taken in by someone who lives in Elistana. I've stayed in touch with him ever since. It was through my newfound guardian that I was introduced to Milpa. Huh. Guess everyone's got a story, don't they? Life's full of surprises. I am glad to know at least one of us has been to Elistana before. I should be able to keep us from getting lost once we reach the city. Hmm, if Milba is out, then... I suppose we'll just have to continue on foot. Does Milpa take care of this place all on his own? He does. Wow! That's gotta be a lot of work. This Milpa sounds like a pretty impressive person if you ask me. Taking this? Taking this? Oh, this view is magnificent. Hmm, I don't see the Pakuls. Turn. Whoa! What is this thing? Is it a dog? A bear? Don't fret. This little one won't harm you. It's been a while, Milpa. Good to see you with companions this time. This is assuming you aren't their hired blade. These are my friends. <laughs> friends? I see. Gone is the dour look you sported when we last met. May I ask what caused this change of heart? I was appointed the Alm of the Moon upon visiting Etern. Alm of the Moon, is it? Your devotion to the past and reverence for the power of time must have rekindled the elemental spirits. Now you have been entrusted with the future. I am proud of you, Morley. Niccolo and I have long been wanting something like this for you. Thank you, Milba. Come. We cannot have the alms wasting precious days on a long trek. Time waits for no one, nor should it. You must be off to the mana tree to create a new age for us all. used to be wild Pikuls. Milpa cares for them. Don't worry, they're tame. We should be able to traverse the steppe in no time on Pikuls. Get on.
Take this. Whenever you need a ride, you can summon the Pakuls with that bell. May the blessings of mana be with you on your journey. We are in your debt. Take care, Milpa. Huh. Shall we get going? <laughs> we should stick with the group. Let's go. Hold on tight, Hina. Oh, I will. Huh. I cannot describe how wonderful it felt to ride across the vast countryside on the back of Epicola, together with Val on our way to the Tree of Mana. I wished that we could continue our exhilarating adventure forever and ever. If only it could be. Now and for always. It was heartening to see Milpa again after so long. The harbor isn't far if we take the Pikuls. They're so fast. I think I've already got the hang of riding them, though. Onward through the steppe and Rata Harbor beyond! Grizzly! This trip... To the mana tree is way more fun than I thought it would be. Hina and me crossing the step together. If only we could do this for the rest of our days. What a dream. Take this! 
time to get him. I can help you. I'll carry on from here. Go get him. Show them. I've made this journey a thousand times at this point, and yet, everything seems so much greener than it used to. I bet it's your attitude adjustment that's doing the trick. You're a
Important mission from the Moon Elemental is making you see the world through fresh eyes. Huh. Perhaps. I do have a duty now as the Alm of the Moon. Pikuls have very acute hearing, and Mubas trained them well. Sounds great! The Pikuls will always be welcome in this convoy. more attention to how an Alm is supposed to act. Oh, they taught us how to be a good Alm back in Tiania. Alms must follow a healthy lifestyle. Early to bed, early to rise, stuff like that. That's been my practice this whole time. I guess I'm doing okay in my role already. You need to learn how to cut loose, Morley. Is that deer? Look at it jump! I love Karina's. We're lucky we had the Pakuls to take us so far. How long would the walk take, I wonder? My feet, I think. Oh, for the Pakuls. Walking that whole way? That ship can take us across the sea to the capital of the deep. I want to get closer and take a good look. For some guy earlier, right? It was barely a stumble and no one was hurt. I doubt it'll come to anything. Val, I'd like to look around the town before we go. Ooh. Me too. I want to talk to the townsfolk. Sure. Let's take a break in Rata for now. Something amiss, Master Pazor? Ah! The key! It's gone! Aha! Thief! You must have made off with it when you attacked me so viciously earlier! Who, me? A thief? Are you joking? Produce the key this instant! But I didn't steal your key! 
If you relent now, I will ensure that your sentence is light. Get the fur out of your ears! I said I didn't steal anything! Go bother someone else with your temper tantrum. Oh no, Karina seems to have picked a fight with the wrong individual. You know that guy? That's Passar, one of Ilistana's most notoriously ambitious magistrates. Rumor has it he has his sights set on the throne. In any case, he'd have no trouble pinning a petty crime on an innocent bystander. We should step in before this escalates into something we can't handle. Karina isn't a thief. You've got the wrong person. And who might you be? An accomplice to this vile criminal? Let me be perfectly clear. She stole nothing from you. Fine! If you reprobates will not surrender the key, you can go looking for it. This girl will be held under suspicion of theft until you produce my effects. Understood? If you cannot find my purloined property, you and your band of hooligans will be tossed overboard the prim. Perhaps the fishes of the deep will be more lenient towards larceny. Don't worry, okay? I'll find it. I promise. How? We don't have a clue where that jerk dropped his key. What if you can't find it, huh? Then we'll all get keel-hauled. We can still make a break for it, you know. Just say the word. You're coming with us. No thieving newcomer will ever escape justice. I may be a newcomer, but I'm no thief, you morons. You gotta believe me. Believe you? Ha! Who would trust such a rowdy delinquent? We believe you, Karina. <clears throat> okay. Guess I gotta search the town. There's no way Karina stole from that blowhard. Just you wait. I'll find that key. It's gotta be somewhere in town. I'll ask around and see if anyone has a lead. I can handle this. Passar asked us to search for something of his. Have you seen a missing key anywhere? I don't know about a key, but this case got sent here by mistake. It looks like one of the Magistrate's boxes. Maybe what you're looking for is in there. Do you mind if I check inside? <laughs> of course, of course! Hold your horses. Why give it back when you can have a little fun? Hey, Orin? Is that really you? Don't worry. I've been keeping tabs on the situation. You go on ahead to the Magistrate. I'll meet you there. <sighs> Orin looks well. That's good to see. But how's he planning on getting the missing key back to that guy? Couldn't I just hand it over? Hmm... Better go back and check on them. Now 
Now then, have you located my key? Hey, mister, hmm? there's something stuck to your back. Oh, look, I think it's a key. Is this what you were making people look all over town for? <laughs> Guess it was here all along. Uh, but how did, did it? Well, I'm not surprised you didn't notice. Even a magistrate doesn't have eyes on the back of his head. <laughs> so that geezer had the key the whole time? What a wasted effort on our part. Don't tell anyone, but Val actually managed to find the key. I just helped to get back to Passar. Hopefully this way we can all avoid any aspersions cast on our names. There, Karina. Now we can leave the port without any trouble. Hopefully this hasn't ruined your excitement for the boat raid. Though Passar will be joining us for the voyage, unfortunately. I was in trouble back there, so what I mean to say is, thanks. Come again? I said, thanks everyone! Jeez, you see what happens when you play nice? You end up running errands for block-headed diplomats. I wasn't playing nice. I was helping a friend in need. That's all. Plus, I am the Soul Guard. It's my duty to protect the alms from harm, both physical and reputational. I won't let anything happen to you guys. Fine. Whatever you say. Now that all that funny business is over, can we get a move on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we better hurry on to that ship before it departs. That is where you're headed too, right? Come on! I totally missed when Orin planted the key back on that official. Oh well, at least Karina's in the clear. We should be able to set sail now. Am I missing anything? Better check before getting on the boat. Let me see. Nice! The Prim will be leaving the dock shortly. All passengers, please board at your earliest convenience. We won't be able to come back here for a while once we set sail. Did I forget anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Orin! I wasn't expecting that trick of yours. It was pretty risky considering the target. <laughs> I like to keep things interesting. What a coincidence that we meet up again here of all places. You left so suddenly last time. Sorry about that. You two looked like you had everything covered. Traveling with some new friends, I see. Yeah, they're alms too. Karina, the alm of wind, and Morley, the alm of the moon. Really? The Elm of the Moon, too, huh? Never thought we'd see another one after a Terran fell. Guess I was wrong. Speaking of alms, did you know there was once a time when we didn't have alms as sacrifices? What? Really? That's weird. That's the first I've heard of it. And here I thought I'd read every history book in the village. It probably wasn't written in any of your local texts, Tina. It's a tale from ancient times. The tale of the legendary mana sword of the champion of the mana goddess. A legendary sword? Now that does sound like a fairy tale. Exactly. Stories of the goddess's all powerful sword were passed down from generation to generation. Now it's little more than myth. So, generations ago, the alms didn't make the pilgrimage? Hard to imagine a time like that. No alms, no soul guard, no nothing. Back then, things were totally different from what we know today. So how and why did everything change? I suppose... I never thought about it, really. Wow. 
Well, that was weird. Orin knows some strange stories. I don't think anyone knows how and why the Alms pilgrimage came about. Or at least, I definitely don't. No use worrying about it now. I should check on the others. wrong. Special. Huh? Are you okay, Hina? The boat's pitching quite a bit. Well, there's something in the water. I saw it right over there. This is some storm. Careful of the swell of the waves. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <clears throat> I gotta keep it steady. Thank <laughs> you. 
water for sure. Glad we made it out alive. <laughs> Too. That was some impressive fighting back there. <laughs> I told you, Val is the strongest swordsman in our village. I see that. It was quite a show. Didn't expect that monster to turn into a rock like that, though. Yeah, sometimes I can turn monsters into stones when I fight them. I don't know why, but it's something I've always been able to do. I tried researching the topic, but I couldn't find any leads. Well, maybe it's something you'll never really be able to understand. Another mystery for the history books. The world's full of them. Look there. You can see the Manador continent. Hina, I promise that I'll never let a monster like that harm you. Ever, okay? I'll protect you. <laughs> I know that, silly. It's your job, after all. Yeah, but even if it weren't... We're taking the same path tread by hundreds of alms before us. We have to protect the future by journeying to the mana tree. I'll see you safely wherever you need to go. I won't let you down, Hina. We alms of the Trinia continent, fire, wind, and the moon, cross Talon Strait as we travel to Ilistana, capital of the deep. Alms customarily receive blessings from the Queen of Ilistana at the rites of initiation, as she prays for their safe passage to the Tree of Mana. It's a time-honored tradition and an integral part of the pilgrimage. Other alms are meant to meet us in the capital as well. New companions to join our bonded group. But after the destruction of the Earth Village, there is no alm of Earth to make the journey. I fear for the world, now bereft of the blessings of the Earth Elemental. Be that as it may, I can't help the spark of excitement in my heart at the thought of all the new places and friends that await us. <laughs> 